Hello, my name is I King Skies. We are back with another video, and today we are going to be talking about the Royal Rumble that took place just the other night. Now, it was full of highlights, Bianca Belair and Edge winning both the Royal Rumbles, but what I wanted to talk about is why a certain superstar wasn't there, and that superstar was The Fiend. Now, let's hurry this up because that intro was low-key long, but let's hurry this up because The Fiend needs to be talked about. Why exactly he wasn't there? We did see her counterpart. We did see his counterpart, uh, Alexa Bliss, and uh, a like she did a performance <laughs> she was in the royal rumble but even she didn't really have the top performance as she was eliminated by rhea ripley just a couple minutes into the match right before she can transform so what really is going on between alexa bliss and the fiend well the fiend might just be still dead now i see a lot of people before the royal rumble said the fiend is going to be alive at the Royal Rumble. He's going to cause Randy Orton the match. I did too, but it seems like for WWE, The Fiend is still not alive. And for IRL situations, it seems like Bray Wyatt is enjoying himself on a vacation or some sort. It doesn't really seem like this is a storyline taking a break off of. I mean, he would have definitely returned at the Royal Rumble if you think about it. But I think Bray Wyatt is just enjoying some time off, and they're giving some, him some time off. And he, when he returns, he'll be ready to fight back up and gear up in the Fiend suit again. But I just think that the Fiend, in the storyline at least, is still dead, and he is still in hell enjoying all his little friends. And likes the Bliss doesn't seem like. She, well, it definitely seems like she cares, but it doesn't seem like this is the end of the world anymore, like she was acting towards Randy Orton. Alexa Bliss got her payback, and I actually thought Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton was going to have some type of altercation, altercation, altercation at the Royal Rumble, but no can do. They didn't fight, they didn't do anything, and to be honest, it kind of seemed like they just ignored all of it, like Randy Orton just didn't RKO her at the at the paper uh, at, uh, <laughs> on the monday night raw show so i don't know what's really going on with them too but i think the answer to this is the reason he wasn't there is because in the storyline rain the fiend is still dead simple as that he didn't come come back because he's still in hell and trying to heal because randy orton burned him alive and yeah i think that's it anyway if you like these videos like and subscribe what do you guys think why do you guys think that the fiend wasn't there is it because is it is it because it was it do you think it's because more of the storyline or do you think it's because of vacation and bray wyatt is on vacation what do you guys think <laughs> I just, I personally think it's a little bit of both, but I certainly do think for the storyline purpose, he still is dead and they probably just didn't want him to return for some odd reason, or maybe they just wanted him to return on Monday Night Raw instead of making the Royal Rumble because they've already had a stacked lineup. Christian returned and some Carlito returned and some other big returns as well. So they probably just didn't want to do all that and just save it for another pay-per-view uh, pay or a show like Monday Night Raw tonight. Anyway, my name is I King Skies. Like and subscribe. I'll have more videos on this channel like Roman Reigns, um, the greatness of Roman Reigns, and more from that. Anyway, my name is I King Skies. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.